Whenever you panic and make emotional decisions, you almost always fuck up. You make a bad choice. And these Democrats that want Joe to step aside, they're putting themselves out there. They're hanging by a string here. Just think about this. If they continue to try to push Joe Biden for whatever reason, Joe Biden decides to step aside and make no mistake, it's his choice, not theirs. But if he does it and they were wrong, you pull a wild card in Kamala or whoever and you lose the election in November, who's responsible for that? Those Democrats. And don't think we'll forget about it. We will not forget about it. But what about the other side of the coin? They keep doing what they're doing. Joe still runs and he wins. Where does that put these Democrats? Do you think you're in good stead with the president at that point? What's that going to cost you as somebody representing your community now having to work with a president that you did everything you could to kick out of there? This is risky business for these Democrats. It's almost a lose-lose situation no matter what they do. But still, they're so fucking panicked, this is all they can think to do. This is troubling for those Democrats, and I don't even think they understand how dangerous a position they're in. But trust me, it's dangerous. You can say what you want about Joe Biden. He is still the best choice to win in November, and let's get down to the bottom line. That is all that matters right now. We win in November. Once the Democrats have control, we can figure other things out. Joe can retire, whatever the fuck he wants to do, but first and foremost, we've got to win that election you don't win that election, you lose. We lose. The country loses. It's paramount that we win that election. Instead of going on your emotions thinking, oh, we better do this or we better do that, you better decide what the best choice is to win the election so that after the election, you have some choices. Because if you lose the election, there are no more choices. We are fucked and you are fucked.